lifeboats save lives. When all else fails, the lifeboat will get you to safety. Except that occasionally, through poor design, bad maintenance, lack of training, lack of familiarity with equipment, communication failure, or simply operator error, lifeboat drills have actually taken lives or caused serious injury. So what are the most important things you need to know? Firstly, whatever job you have on board a ship, anything that threatens the safety of that vessel could put you in the position of having to know how to operate a lifeboat. As a professional mariner, you know that any lifting operation has its hazards, especially if you're launching or recovering a heavy lifeboat. Let's see what actually happened there. The onload release mechanism failed because the cables controlling the hook release weren't adjusted properly, so the lifeboat was free to fall into the sea. The crew did everything correctly. The lifeboat was actually being recovered and luckily there was no one on board the lifeboat. If there had been, there is a high chance they would have been badly injured. It's been claimed that as many as 16% of the seamen who have been killed on merchant ships died during lifeboat drills, and 80% of the fatalities are claimed to have been due to the hook release mechanism. Let's look at an example of how you will launch and operate a lifeboat. It may not be the same as that on your ship, but you can find details of life-saving equipment and procedures for holding safe drills in your company's ship's safety management system. Never enter the lifeboat without checking that the release hooks are fully closed and that fall preventer devices are in place if they're used on your ship. However, there is one control that you must be very clear about, the release handle. Check that the release handle is in the closed and locked position and that the safety pin is installed. It is this release handle that was operated in error in our real-life example, resulting in the lifeboat plunging down to the sea. It's not always easy to know from inside the lifeboat how far it has been lowered or how high it is above water level. For that reason, a system has been devised and used in some lifeboats that should ensure the lifeboat is in the water by using a hydrostatic sensing system. So deploying lifeboats in drills should always be undertaken in a professional and seamanlike way, ensuring that full attention is paid to the significant risks that are inherent in getting you away from your ship if the worst happens.